Hey guys, so I'm doing another speed build today. I'm thinking of a Dutch colonial house, but I think a more common name is just like it's a simple farmhouse. I did get some inspiration photo, and most of the photos are more or less the same. So I did like find one design that I fall like most of it. Like the mm, the most common feature of this house is mainly that it's symmetrical, and they have like roof with different angles. Like the top roof, the top roof is flatter, and the side rooms are like more steep, which they call it like the gambler roof. And they also have this like gambler roof because they wanna have like a. Uh, cabin second floor like a small second floor so which is what i did in this build too the second floor is mostly covered by roofs there's not much window space but i did manage to find some space for the window which i find it quite okay and one thing is that i i used the cat and dog um, expansion pack also, I did this palm house just because they use the cats and dog expansion pack. So um, I did an extension on both left and the right, but in the inspired photo that I see, they are either like a sunroom extension or a balcony extension, but I decided to do both on the left and the right. But I find that maybe I should actually extend the room back a bit because the room looks so the house looks so long I should actually I, I feel like I should actually maybe put the balcony at the back so that it adds more geometry to the house which I guess maybe I could do a renovation next time like a few years later when I do a better Simsville and I don't know, it's, is it because of the window or... I just feel like the windows are so weird in this house. I wanted to use the cats and dog items, build items, but... Um, they just don't fit. Or maybe just because I can't find a good way to use them. I try to use more of the expansion pack things because most of the time I build base game house. And this time I feel like I wanted to like explore more and Packs. Most of the time, I don't use so much of other expansion pack because um, I feel like there are too much items and I kind of miss them. So I kind of like use like only base game and one single pack so that I know like what are the build items inside the pack and that hopefully the more that I build, I know like, what I use. a lot of all these mm, plant hang, hanging plants near the down the windows because I feel like it adds more farm to the house and just because I think the windows looks too weird I feel like adding some photos makes it look better so I didn't use a lot I didn't use the cats and dogs fans and I really struggled to put these stairs. I really thought a long time about this layout. I changed this layout like very much, like many times, numerous times, because I can't find a good way to lay out this house since there's like so many windows and it's actually not mm, wide enough. It's like a very skinny house. So it's hard to actually put the stairs because if I put the stairs in the middle, it doesn't really have any more space left and right and everything and I really struggle a lot in the second floor because um, it's very very hard to lay out the second floor since like there is like the so many windows it's, the main issue is actually to fit the toilet so I kind of went back and forth like many many times for the second floor layout so this house has a really small balcony 
and I wanted to put more items like um, some more hand crafting things like the woodworking table and th there's like this flower arrangement but flower arrangement comes with seasons so I can't really put it and there's only like the woodworking table and I put on the bonsai plant so let them like trim a bit like do some gardening in the back balcony I did use a lot of like aqua in the house um although like farmhouse is more of like some traditional house or like some old style house so they tend to have lots of um, walls then i don't want to like remove the wall i want to make it remain closed so i instead add more aqua now we're moving on to the sunroom this sunroom is a bit Cute. There's actually an open like like sunroom because there's this like open um, glass on top. I didn't put it like full glass. I did it like um, in just in the middle. I'm not even sure that the lights even come in, but you know it's none of my business. So before I did the I used the sunroom as a dining room. So before moving on to the dining room, we have this like kitchen area. But this kitchen area is like separated into two parts Like it's sort of an open kitchen type That I put the counters behind and then like there's this like a little bit bar chairs there And then we have the another like breakfast area Which I find it quite nice somehow I kind of use a lot of this blue color in this house because I think most of cats and dogs come with blue color and I use a lot of their um, what do you call some cabinets or something which I think cats and dogs has a lot of them and cats and dogs is mostly like wooden, wooden items so it kind of match the farmhouse vibe I think and the kitchen is actually quite big, so I can actually like fit a lot of furniture there. So the second floor I use like simple I use other colors instead of blue but it's still like pastel a bit pastel type and I did use like few different colors of blue and I don't I kinda like this tile wallpaper I feel like it's really nice Considering that it's base game, I think like it's really something like really, 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 really nice. Then we have this like small walk-in area before we go into the main area of the house. There's like, a lot of corridor in this house. I guess it's a bit waste of space somehow because there's like some lot of like walking area and you can't really do much things on the walking area unless you want to put a study table there. Then I also have this like um bind there but the bind doesn't really matter okay so this fireplace and the fireplace that I eventually built like one time to one tile it's like the size doesn't really match but uh, I don't care we're gonna just do that I feel like the curtains of the cats and dogs are like really nice it's more like the curtains in the base game I just don't like them they look so weird somehow more like weird but it's hard to match the windows because considering that we can now customize the windows as how we like so there's actually like long windows and then you can't really put curtains on this long window because curtains are like so limited and then because of the railing it looks like a bit weird somehow so I always struggle to put the curtains most of the time Especially like the curtains just I want something plain and simple 
but the curtains in the base game is just like so complicated and fancy. Gives like those mansion feel, which is something that I don't really like. I find it interesting to put this Brindleton Bay model because it's like so big and it consumes just so much space. It kind of fits the farmhouse vibe too. Just like simple ones, you always put like I always just put this clothes rack and this like shoe rack all the time in all my kids. So moving on to the toilet, the toilet isn't like something fancy, it's just something simple, but because it's a 3x3 three three toilet, so it's actually quite big because a normal toilet can actually fit in a 3x2 three two toilet. 3x3 three three toilet is actually like sometimes like really big. You need a bit of some um separation of space and then you can put a lot of those like wardrobe and stuff in the house i did use like all the plumbing items from cats and dog like the basin the toilet and the bath and i think the the mirror is also from cats and dog so i did use the baits from cats and dogs i think there's two baits which i did two different rooms with two different baits and the other room was a single bed and a single bed was also from cats and dogs if i'm not mistaken and i think this table is also from cats and dogs but not the chair because there's not much like study table chairs from expansion pack most of them are from the base game and i want something more simple i don't want it to be leather because considering like a farmhouse i don't I think they would probably use ladder chairs, is it? Yeah. Mm, I actually think that this bedroom is quite nice, but bedroom doesn't really need much things sometimes. And the toilet is like standard toilet, but because this toilet was like a 3x2 but with um, extension there, so there's actually like quite some space too. Um, but because like the basin in this ensuite bathroom, the basin is like facing the window, so there's no place to put the mirror. The mirror was like right inside. You can't really like wash your hands or look at the mirror. You need to like look inside. So all the house use the same toilet. All the I mean all the bathroom use the same toilet and the same basin. It's just like some difference in the shower and the bath because um, I don't know. I just feel like doing it. Then okay, I did this like big fish tank. This big fish tank was also from cats and dogs. Yeah, this bed is from cats and dogs too. But this bed looks better than the other one just because like I don't know how to fit that four half legs at the edge of the bed. I don't I don't even understand why did that exist. And the dresser from cats and dogs are like really nice. It's like sim something simple. Which I really like, and the wood, wood car, the wood tones are like okay, they're like not bad. And then like this room, I think I made it for maybe a teen or a children. I think it's mostly for a teen. And th there's this another bedroom. It's for maybe kids or even a kid. Teen can actually stay here teen or child it doesn't really matter and uh, I did made it I wanted to make like a full window there but I eventually just changed it to a half wall because I feel like it's a bit hot considering if I'm staying there I feel like there's a window right, right beside my head isn't that like confined space um, then I'm moving on to the landscape the landscape is like really simple but I did this like half wall platform landscape area which I really like most of the time and instead of doing both flower bushes I did sunflower at one side and flower bushes on the other side 
So the sunflower are like quite customized, and then like it's a simple. I guess it's a simple landscape. I didn't do much on it. I just add like a bunch of flowers, and like only there's only like one shoe, two shoe. It's almost like similar. Then we have the walkway. So basically the house is like almost done. I'm just like putting some furniture, thinking like what other furniture that I can put in. Now of course we need to have this cleaner, cleaner board which comes with cats and dog and I just realized that. I just I don't know the, the landscape, not the landscape, but the exterior of the house just doesn't look that nice considering because of the windows. So let's do a bit of the house, shall we? So generally the exterior of the house looks like that. Um the house is apparently at night. I don't know why, but it's just at night. There's nothing I could <laughs> could do. Okay, so the sunflower bushes are in front, so the flower bush bushes are behind, like beside the sunroom. Yeah, it's night. It looks so weird, right? The window's just so small. I don't know. This exterior just looks too weird. That I did like the way I built it when I'm building it, but when I look back at it, it just looks very weird. No matter how I look at it, I just can't like it. So this is like the entrance area and I did put a lot of like some cat foods and like some other some items and everything like clutter up that place. Then we have this um the place where you hang your clothes and shoes and everything. Since like the snowy escape expansion they have this like function to like change your shoes whether you wanna wear sh shoes or slippers in though I kinda like to put shoe racks in every build. So this is my living room. The living room is a bit small. And considering this house is not really that big, it's not really much sofa area. And I actually test my house every time with these four sims. So there's actually like always like four sims testing for the house. And then yeah. There's only like four sofa areas. But this house can actually fit five sims. So yeah, I don't know where's the other person gonna sit. It's none of my business anyway. So this is my balcony. And then we have like small stairs up to the second floor. It's like semi open, it's not fully open. Then this is like the teen's room. So, considering it's a teen's room, I did add a bit of like some teen's furniture, making the curtains much more like pattern instead of some plain patterns and then considering child don't really do homework or everything not that they don't do homework I just give a, like a normal dining table like at least there's a table for them to do some stuff even like to toddler can stay there you just need to change the bed to like the toddler bed so this is the master bedroom it's not really that big but I feel like it's really nice master bedroom looks really nice the toilet is a bit long and skinny especially like it's long and then I only use a shower because shower is only like one tile while bath are two tiles. 